Dennis, it's okay, Dennis, love. It's okay, the bell is ringing. Dennis, the bell is ringing. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, Dennis. It's okay, Dennis. It's okay, that's all right. Cecil has rung the bell. Everything's going to be okay, love. Come over here. There's a good Dennis. Well done, Dennis. Well done. Well done. Well done, Cecil. Well done for ringing that bell. That's okay. <laughs> the story is in the room already, thanks to you. Now, everybody, you find Cecil and I here with our friend Dennis. Um, as you know, uh, Dennis loves to dance. But whereas most people dance with joy in their hearts, in Dennis's heart, it's chaos. It isn't a dance, it's a catastrophe. Because Dennis gets very, very agitated. And that's why he dances. And that's why he's with us. Because here, we're going to teach him to dance properly. To dance with happiness and joy. And not to dance with fear. Because, Cecil, we know that, don't we? Dennis dances because he's afraid. He's afraid of what's outside. And if we can cure him, he will be a happy, happy guy. Um, we're going to tell you a story now, Dennis. He loves stories, loves them. All right, Cecil, should we tell him a story? Okay, now this, Dennis, is a story about fear. Once upon a time, in a farm, there was a mouse. And the mouse's name was Friday Mouse. And he was called Friday Mouse because he was always afraid. He was afraid of everything. <laughs> if he went outside and a leaf fell from a tree, he'd go like this. <laughs> and if he was outside and it began to rain, he'd go like this. <laughs> and if he was inside the barn and someone turned the light off, he'd go like this. Click. And he'd stay like that, sometimes for two hours. But my dear friends, he had two brothers. And his two brothers were not afraid of anything because his two brothers were quicky and tricky and flighty and bitey. And uh, his two brothers, the little one and the big one, came out of the mouse hole. And the little one came out and the little one said, Yeah, la, see me, men, see me, men. I'm la, dead, 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 brave me. I'm wicked bear, brave me. I'm like scared of nothing, nothing, nothing. And the big brother said, I know you is brave, bruv. I know you is brave like me. Because me and my bruv, we're not scared of nothing. Yeah, man, I'm not scared of nothing, me. See me, see me, see me. I'm not scared of no car. I'm not scared of no dog. I'm not scared of no human being. I'm not scared of no cow. I'm not scared of nothing. But then the big brother looked down, tapped him on the shoulder. Hey, bruv. Hey, bruv. What is it, man? Why are you tapping me on the shoulder, man? You're interrupting my story. No, bruv, listen. Listen, you're quite wrong about something. Because you are scared of one thing. What is it? What am I scared of, man? What am I scared of? You is afraid of the cat. Oh, that's right, man. Are you scared of the cat? But, bruv, bruv, bruv. Look at that Freddy Mass over there, oh, bruv. He's scared of everything, isn't it? I think he is. Oh, 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 I was going to ask you. Oh, Freddy Mass, is you scared of everything? Freddy Mass said, I am scared of everything. Oh, man, you're scared of... Oh, but me and your brother, we's not scared of nothing. The brother tapped him again. Why is it, man? We are scared of one... <gasps> oh, yeah. We... He's scared of a cat. 
Freddy Mouse. Is you scared of a cat? Freddy Mouse looked at his two brothers and Freddy Mouse said, What's a cat? He don't know what a cat is. He don't know what a cat is. He don't know what a cat is. You don't know what a cat is. He don't know what a cat is. Oh, that's dangerous here, man. Listen, Freddy, come over here. Come over here. Sit down. I is going to tell you what a cat is. Right, sit comfortable. Comfortable. I was going to tell you a very important thing. The cat. He's big. He's round. He sits on the ground. And he never moves a muscle till he hears a little rustle. And then he'll jump. Thump! And he'll eat you till you are dead. That is what the cat is, Freddy. Don't you forget it, man. Now listen, me and your bruv, we got to go up top field because there's some chickens giving it large up there. We's going to burn them up, in it, bruv? Yeah, bruv, we're going to burn them up. Yeah, so check you later, Freddy. Touch, man, touch, man, touch, man. Yeah, check you later, Freddy. Spud, man, spud, man, spud, man. And those two boys went up to top field to chase the chickens. But they left Freddy all on his own. And he was all on his own. And sometimes, if you get left all on your own, everything you're afraid of goes into your mind. And Freddy was afraid of the cat. And he said, I can't stop thinking about the cat. The cat scares me. I can't see And he began to cry. I'm crying because of the cat. And he cried so much he fell asleep. I'm crying so much. <laughs> Now, my dear, 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 dear Cecil, let's leave him here in the barn. Shall we do that? Let's go outside the barn for a minute. And outside the barn, there was the farmer. And the farmer was carrying a big sack of potatoes. And while he was carrying his big sack of potatoes, he was singing a little song. And he was singing, I am the farmer, I live on the land, I'm not very exciting, I'm a little blad. Oop. And he tripped. And because he tripped, one of the potatoes fell out. Boom, 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 boom. The potato began to bounce. Boom, 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 boom. The potato bounced into the barn. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And the potato landed right next to the sleeping Freddy Mouse. Freddy Mouse woke up. Uh, I'm still a bit scared because I had a bad dream. And he looked up and he looked straight at the potato. <gasps> Look. It's big. It's round. It sits on the ground. <laughs> It never moves a muscle till it hears a little rustle, then a jump, jump, it'll eat me till I'm dead. It's a cat! And Freddy looked at the potato. And the potato looked at Freddy. And they stayed like that for two hours. Well, soon, those boys, they came back from top field. And the little uh, brother was saying, hey, <laughs> Check it out, man. Did you see me burning up them chickens? I was wicked bear brave in it. Look, 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 brother. Look at that Freddy mouse. He's standing as still as a statue. Why is he standing as still as a statue? I don't know, bruv. Ask him. I will, bruv. I will. Hey, Freddy mouse. How come you're standing as still as a statue? And Freddy mouse said, Boys, boys, quick, go away, go away. It's a cat, it's a cat. He pointed at the potato. The boys looked at Freddy Mouse, looked at the potato. Freddy, potato, Freddy, potato, Freddy, potato, Freddy, potato. A hey, Freddy man, it's not a cat, it's a potato. You is scared 
Oh, fuck, what's that? He too? <laughs> Those boys started to laugh. <laughs> He's getting him a potato. <laughs> He's getting him a potato. <laughs> they laughed so much they fell over. <laughs> and they laughed so much they fell asleep. <laughs> Brady Mouse was embarrassed. He said, They're laughing at me because I thought that potato was a cat. <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed, but I'm going to go to sleep now. And when I go to sleep, I'm going to have a dream. I'm going to be quicky and tricky and flighty and bitey. <laughs> <laughs> and he fell asleep as well. So the three mice were sleeping fastly in the barn. But let's not stay here in the barn. Let's go outside of the barn. Let's go along the courtyard. Let's go past the old dog's kennel. The old dog is an old dog with not a tooth in his head. <coughs> Let's go past the cow shed, the old cow. But carry on, don't stop there. Carry on walking. Walk up to the farmhouse. But don't go to the front of the farmhouse. Go round to the back of the farm to the green door. Don't look at the top of the green door. Look at the bottom. Look at the cat flap. See it move. Uh, 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 because out came the cat. <laughs> I am the cat. I like to eat the little mouse. Is what I like to do. Is what I like to do. What I like to do is I catch the mouse by his tail and he's shaking, he's shivering, and I hold him up and he's shaking, he's shaking and making me laugh. And I open my mouth and I pull him in. And he run around my mouth and it tickled me nice. But then I crunch him. <coughs> and his blood, it go down my throat. And I like it nice. I smell something. Ooh, I smell a mouse. Oh, no. I smell two mouths. Oh, paradise. I smell three mouths. Now watch him. Watch him slink across the courtyard. Watch him go in front of the old cow shed. Watch him. Go across the dog's kennel. Watch him. Watch him go up to the door of the barn. Oh, look. There on the floor. Three little mouse. All sleeping together. They look so cute and nice. I don't know what to do. Shall I eat them when they're still sleeping? Or shall I vac them up and eat them then? Well you well you know what? You know what? I'm not a cruel cat. I'm not a cruel cat. First I'll vac them up, then I'll eat them. Now watch. Watch as he goes towards the mice. 
Watch as he gets out one nail. And he pokes the little brother. Wake up, little mouse. Wake up, little mouse. The little brother woke up. <laughs> I'm still laughing. <laughs> Freddy Mouse, who thought that potato was a cat? <laughs> and he scarpered into the mice hole. And then the cat woke up the big brother. Wake up, little mouse. Wake up, little mouse. The big brother woke up. <laughs> I had a dream, yeah. <laughs> I had a dream, but that funny man, he thought the potato was a cat. And he scarpered to the mouse hole with his brother. But my dear Dennis and my dear Cecil, those two brave brothers, they left their little brother on his own, alone. Alone, that is except for the cat. And the cat came up to Freddy Mouse, opened all his claws. Ching! Ching! Wake up, little mouse, wake up, little mouse. Freddy Mouse woke up. <laughs> I'm still a bit scared. I am still a bit Freddy Mouse looked up. He looked up into the big, golden, beautiful eyes of the cat. He saw the cat's razor-sharp teeth. He looked right at the cat and he said, I'm not scared of you, potato! I'm not scared of no potato! And the cat looked at him and said, why is he calling me a potato? What have I done to him? And Freddy Mouse, he ran round the side of the cat and he kicked the cat in the leg. Well, he called me a potato. He kicked him in the leg. Why? And then Freddy Mouse, he ran round the other side. He grabbed that cat's tail. He pulled the tail. Well, he pulled my tail. He kicked him in the leg. He called me a potato. I'm not going to eat this mouse. This mouse is too brave for me. I go home, have whiskers, soup, I meat. And the cat turned and shook out of the barn. Well, the ca uh, mice's two brothers, those two brave brothers, they came out of the mouse hole and the little brother said, Whoa, Freddy man, you are boom, you are nun, you just beat up a cat. And Freddy man said, Nah, I didn't, I, I just beat up a potato. Nah, man, it's not a potato, it's a cat. Ah, it's a potato, a potato with whiskers, long teeth, and big... Uh... <gasps> it was a cat! <laughs> and Freddy Mouse fainted. And the big brother looked at him. And the big brother said, <laughs> Look at that, Freddy Mouse. First, he beats up a cat, and then he falls asleep. <laughs> He's wicked, bear brave. My dear friends, that's the end of that story. So you see, Dennis, being brave is a very complicated thing. You know that, don't you? Well, Cecil, we're going to say goodbye to the people. Will you wave goodbye? Bye, everyone. Come again to the Story Emporium Repair Shop. Mm -hmm.